Hey, good morning, church family. Good morning to you. How you doing? Are you blessed? Are you healed? Are you free? Are you saved? Ooh, my <laughs> dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I know you're saved out there. Right, Hallelujah. Amen. And we're so thankful for it. Amen. That's right. Thankful for God and his word and sharing yes. his word with God's people. Yes. Uh, listen to uh, if you're out there and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, my wife and I are always looking for one more. Yes. Listen, if, uh, if you're the one, listen, somebody lied to you and said that there is no God. I'm telling you, there is. And I'm telling you, he, he's, he's waiting on you. He's looking for you. Yeah. And uh, since the day you were born, yeah. he's even before that, he's known you. Yes. Knows who you are. Yes. And uh, so if you don't if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then you are not saved, and you need to change that around. You need yes. to turn that thing around. Yes. Listen, get rid of your doubt. Get rid of your unbelief. You don't need those two yes. anymore, yes. all right? Yep. And you need to start believing that Jesus Christ died on the cross for the forgiveness of your sins. Yes. You need yes. to believe that on the third day, God rose him from the dead so that you could have eternal life with him in heaven. That's an eternal gift. Freely given by our Lord and Savior, yes. Jesus Christ, Amen. by the blood that he spilled on the yes. cross that day for you and for the whole world. All right. I know that the scripture says that God, for God so loved the world that he, begot, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. All right. So that's the word of God. And that is the truth. And he done it for you. Amen. 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 So you need to believe that. You need to make a confession. Here's the thing. You got to confess to God that you're a sinner. All right? Make a confession. Say, Amen. God, I'm a sinner. My life's a mess. Jesus, I need you to be my Lord and Savior. Jesus will come into your heart. He'll come into your life. All right? And he'll change Amen. you from the inside out. And That's I'm telling right. you, your life will never be the same. You'll look back at your uh, the days before. Yes. And you'll wonder, why have I waited yeah. so long? I'm telling you, Jesus will change you from the inside out. And your will. life will never be it the will same. It will never be the same. And, yes. and I'm, telling you, be so, I'm telling you, you got Jesus living on the inside right. of He's you. That's awesome. Woo. Yes. Man, He's you're awesome. saved. you know it? Yes. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Uh, listen, thanking God for, again, his word. That's right. And his promises. Amen. Thanking our pastor also yes, for the assignment. Thank you, pastor. Welcome to this morning's 714. Now, if you're out there and you're not sure what 714 is, well, we're going to go right into it right here. Yes. This is the Word of God, and what the Word of God says in Second Chronicles 7.14 is this. He says, If my people who are called by my name Amen. will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. That's right. Amen. And turn from their yes, wicked ways. Away. He says, Then I will hear from yes. heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. That's the Word of That's God, right. and is. I'm telling you. When you get that, when, you, when you're listening to the Word of God, when He says it like that, I think He's trying to make a point. That's right. All right? And, and that is, are you humbling yourself? Are you praying? Are you seeking a space? Have you turned from your wicked ways? Have you repented? Yes. Amen. Right? And God is, God is looking for those who, are, <laughs> listen, who have done those things. And He's listen. He, he says, I'll hear from heaven. I'll forgive your sin. I will heal your land. That is Second Chronicles seven fourteen. I, I know that I'm forgetting something. Hold on. Here it is. Listen. <laughs> if you're looking for a church out right. there, uh, Res Life Church, St. Louis, Michigan. Yes. I'm telling you, it's an awesome church. It is. An awesome pastor. Pastor awesome Rick pastor. Lopez and his yes. wife, Deanne, or Diane. <laughs> Listen, we'll love on you. That's and right everybody out in that church, I'm telling you, you're going to feel the presence of God. You're going to feel the the uh, the love of God, the anointing of God. Oh man, it's you got awesome. this tangible. Right. And you walk in there and you say, "Wow, this is what I've been looking for my entire life." Amen. I'm telling you, you're, you're going to feel it, and your search for a church will be over. You know that's true. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hey, people of God, it is tearing up your Bible Wednesday, Ooh, day 48. Come on, are you tearing it up? Are you tearing it up? I hope so. Mm. And the text is Psalm 90. So what we're going to do a little something different. We're just going to go through that psalm. It's kind of like a like a prayer, but we'll explain or expound just a little bit. Right so here are some things in Psalm 90 that we must realize that I have written down here. Right, these are things we must realize. That's right. Mm -hmm. Realize and understand. God is our shelter for those who are in need. Hallelujah. How many, how many have need out there? That's right. How many have need? need of, yeah, listen, when God says he is your shelter and he, and, and, and he is our dwelling place, that's our right. refuge. Yes. Listen, that's a place that's right. you can go when you feel when you feel down, when you feel that you need 
when you need shelter, yes. God is there. That's right. He is. Always. Amen. 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 He is our protector, our security, and he will continue to supply all your need. How many know that God does supply all, all our need? need? That's right. He mm. does. Every, every Jehovah. Who's the Jehovah what, honey? I can't remember now. <laughs> Rasha? No, Rasha. Jehovah. Jireh. <laughs> Jireh. Yeah, Jehovah Jireh. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Lord that provides. That's right. God will provide your That's every right. need. Every need. Continuous. Continuously. Amen. That's right. I can't tell you people, God, how many times, um, especially when we were first born again. I mean, he still does. Oh, he still does. He you still know, that's does. True. That's right. But I remember just uh, the needs that we had and how he brought us from glory to glory to glory, too. Amen. Can I, I, mean, can I share yeah. something with you? Listen, I said to God one time, I says, God, and uh, listen, I need, a, I need a new acoustic guitar. All right. Now, God heard my prayer. All right, because that was an earnest prayer. But I said, God, I really, I need a new one. Mine is shot. And God's and God's uh, heard my prayer. And it wasn't a couple days later, and a young man knocking on my door. And it's uh, it's a young man who's he's got a, he's got a guitar case in his hand. I figured, man, maybe he wants some guitar lessons. He comes on into the house. He says, God told me to give you this. This and it was a brand new Ovation acoustic guitar. And uh, I says, what? Didn't you just buy that like uh, two weeks ago? And he goes, yeah, but God told me to give it to you. <laughs> I says, well, I receive it. That's right. Come on. Well, God wants to bless you. You receive it. That's right. All right. That's right. And uh, so I received that blessing. And I'm telling you, I still play that guitar today. And that was, gosh, 20 years ago, I'll yeah. bet. <laughs> but I'm telling you, uh, you, you want something from God? Be specific. Yes. All right. And so, God, I want, I need this. I want that. Hey, I'll tell you, I've had need of uh, cars to drive to work. All right. I want to call them work cars. They're, they're not junk cars. They're just cars that drive me back and forth to work. And God's <laughs> given me five. <laughs> I'm right? telling you, God is good. People of God. He is good. And that's, you know what the number five is? is the number five is grace. That's right. And I'm telling you, I'm so grateful for God's grace. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes. And amen. Right. Listen. You want to dwell in his presence. We must dwell in his presence. Amen. Even in hard times, unexpected times, Come on. horrible times, oh, no. confusing times in our life. How about the times that we're living in now? That's Listen, right. last year, the whole thing of the COVID thing, wow. But we must dwell in hmm, his presence at his all presence. times. That's right. Live in his presence. That's right. Amen. Ah. He is yeah. our safety and our refuge. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. People yeah. of God, he doesn't change. No, that's true. That's right. If you are struggling, you can turn to God. He is your safe place. Mm. God yeah. is all powerful. Moses experienced his mighty power in many ways. You know the story, uh, the story of Moses and how, how God pulled the, uh, the Israelites out of, uh, out of bondage, out of you know, 400 years of slavery. Yeah. And, and, and God used one man, and his name was Moses. And God's seen, God's, Moses seen things that, uh, I mean, I'm telling you, he's seen God move in yes. powerful ways. Yep. Yep. Amen? Amen. He parted the sea for Moses, the Red Sea. Remember yeah, that you story? Remember that. God? And their clothes didn't wear out. And how about all the miracles in Egypt? Amen. His power, God's power is always evident. Look around you. He, his power sustains all things, and he created all things, people Amen. of God. You know that's true. He is everlasting to everlasting. Yes, he is. God has always been, and he will always be forever. Hallelujah. And forever. <laughs> In verses 3 through 6, talks about long life. That too will end because dust will you return. Remember a couple days ago we or last about week? That. Yep. We talked about the dust. How, listen, people of God, that, that we were, uh, we will be... Go man, on, yeah, well, man, mankind yes. come from dust. That's right. And we will return, return to dust. And that's why we can never, ever put our trust in God's creation but the and creator. The creator. Ooh, that's right. That's good. That's right. Hallelujah. Time Amen. is short, and we better use it well, people of God. Did you hear what she just said? Time is short. Time is short. Now, we talked about time last week, too, or the right. week before. I can't remember what right. day it was, but... Stewardship of time, people of God. Yes. A man's life is nothing but a vapor. That's and right. with no no guarantee as to the number of our years. You know, you have a guarantee for tomorrow. Yes. I'm telling you. Use it wisely. Use it wisely. Use it, yes. That's good, Deanna. Yeah. Right. Therefore, people of God, it's critical 
that we manage our life and time well here on earth. While we're here on That's earth. That's right. Now, Lord, we pray, God. Yes, we pray, that Jesus. That those who have heard this word today, yes. Lord God, that they yeah. not only believe yes. it, but they also Jesus. receive it. And they've yes. heard this word. And they, yes, they will be good stewards with their time, Lord God. Hey, in the time that you've given them, I thank you, God, that you are our shelter and our hiding yes. place. You're the you place are awesome, where we can God. go. You are our refuge. Yes. You are our rock yes, in the storm, are. God. Thank we you, Thank Jesus. you, Father yes. God, for, thank for you, God. everything and every we promise. Cling to, we cling to you. That's yes, right. Amen. Yes, we cling to you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Woo, thank Ooh. you, God. We love you. We love you, love Jesus. You, we love you, and for Amen. all those who are listening, that yes. you just claim those things, that he is your refuge, yes. he's your shelter, yes. he's your security. Amen. Claim it. Claim it. It's yours. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Name Listen, of Jesus. we love you. Yes, we do. We Thinking love you. Thinking of you. Yes. And uh, keep your nose in the book. And your knees bent to heaven. And your body in the house of God. That's right. And we will see you tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Have a great day. Peace. Peace.